Hey YouTube, it's Lish, and today we're going to be discussing staycations and why they're necessary. The benefits of staycations. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I'm just now finishing up my first legitimate staycation. And by legitimate, I mean the first staycation where the purpose of me being there was to have a staycation. <laughs> like there's no other main purpose. And I wanted to discuss the benefits because I actually had been talking to my brother when I was on the staycation on the phone, letting him know, yeah, I got a hotel in Phoenix just to kind of enjoy myself. And his response, given, my brother doesn't have a filter, okay? He doesn't try to be mean, it just sometimes the things he says comes off a little harsh. But when I told him, he was like, that's kind of pathetic. And I was like, how so? And he said, well, why get a hotel to sleep when you already have an apartment nearby to sleep in? And I was like, all right, so he just doesn't understand the concept of staycations. And he did admit to never hearing that word before. So I had to educate him. And now for anyone else wondering, I'm here to educate as well from my experience. So, got a little notepad where I wrote down some things, you know, I like to write notes. Let me start out by saying the first benefit to a staycation is a change in scenery. Now, given it's a stay, so you're still usually within your same state, maybe even your same city, but it's still not the same view you get when you look out your window at home or at your apartment, wherever. For me, I look out the window and I just kind of have a view of the apartment building. It's nothing crazy, but I went and booked a room in downtown Phoenix, which is about 10 minutes from me. And there I have a view from the 15th floor of a high rise hotel where I see all the tall buildings, the traffic, the landscape. I have beautiful sunsets and sunrises that I can watch while relaxing inside of a tub. Like it's just huh, change of scenery, okay? And kind of a tangent that's somewhat related to the change of scenery. I'm somebody that is working remote and has been working remotely since the start of the pandemic, which was basically March, 2020. So for me, this is my workplace. This is where I sleep. This is where I stay most of the time. So <laughs> it's hard for me to really get out the house and just seeing the same thing every day can get tiring. Like given if I worked in the workplace, I'd be seeing that place every day, but not having that distinction between work and like where I sleep and where I eat and where I watch TV has its downsides and don't get me wrong i love working from home and i will forever prefer working from home to going in the office just for comfort reasons like i can control the like, temperature i don't have to dress up as much um, i don't have to drive and you know spend money on gas lunch can be right in my fridge or down the street you know so it's just simple things that just make it so much more convenient however not having that obligation to go outdoors and drive back and forth from work like sometimes i just miss seeing outside like sometimes i'll just go walk outside to maybe get something from my car or go down the street and get something and like i just have such a refreshing feeling from just leaving the apartment so all that to say <laughs> a change of scenery can be so important for somebody that works remote even if that change of scenery is just 10 minutes away at a bougie hotel. Another reason to go on a staycation is the vacay illusion. So staying at a hotel, it kind of gives you the feeling of being on vacation, right? The feeling of being away, the feeling of relaxation that you get when you go visit a new place. Is that your day to day, nine to five, working, like you're, you're away from all of that. This is your time to relax. The relaxation part isn't really an illusion, right? A staycation is still time to relax, but just being somewhere where you have like maybe a resort style pool, maybe a luxurious tub with an amazing view that you don't usually have where you live, a hotel restaurant that maybe serves some really scrumptious meals, <laughs> okay? <laughs> like, and I love to eat, so I'm there for the food. All benefits to a staycation. That brings me to my final point and probably the most important that I'll probably elaborate on is if you're someone that's single, roaming this world solo for right now, <laughs> like myself, Staycations are really nice because I feel like there is some sort of negative connotation with doing things by yourself. Whether that's going to the movies, going to eat at a restaurant, going to a poetry event. Like for some reason, 
there is some negative connotation with that. Like people view it as, okay, well, I don't wanna go by myself, I need to go with a friend. And I felt that sometimes myself too, when I wanna go to things that I don't have people to go with. Not saying I don't have friends, but as far as having friends that live nearby, that are available, <laughs> it's hard, at least for me right now. Like that's one thing that I don't know, I don't wanna blame solely on the pandemic. I think it's also just, a coming of age thing like I'm in my late 20s now and my friends are busy you know my friends are either moving to other states or taking care of children or maybe they're in relationships where we just don't see them as friends as much so it's hard to meet up with people to do things there's that <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is I think it's a good way of introducing doing things by yourself as a good thing. By going on a staycation and staying in a hotel room by yourself, you could sing all you want to, you could watch whatever shows you want to. I was in there watching SpongeBob, looking out the window. I was on the 15th floor, so I wasn't wearing all that many clothes and I didn't really need to worry about anyone seeing me. <laughs> I brought my Nintendo Switch in case I wanted to play some games. I ordered some of my favorite food from Postino's. I was in there eating, like just doing things that make me happy. And I think that's so important, right? Self-love, self-love is so important. I think especially as someone that's single, it's prime time to go ahead and take that time to explore what makes you happy and do that for yourself. My love languages, my top two are quality time and touch, right? So, Besides touch, because I'm not about to just be touching all up on myself. Quality time, like I think it's important to spend that quality time with myself, just loving on me, right? Being in a relationship or dating, it can take so much out of you. It's so much effort. And I'm not saying I never want to date again, I never want to be in a relationship again. Like, no, I definitely love socializing with other people. I definitely love the companionship that comes with being in a relationship. And when I'm in a relationship, I love hard. So I definitely love being in that space for sure, but I'm not in that space right now. And while I'm not in that space and not receiving that quality time love that I so desire from another person, it only makes sense that I provide it for myself. So yeah, but rewind. So staycations. <laughs> um, in the privacy of a hotel room, you could do whatever you want and get comfortable just being by yourself while also enjoying the relaxation benefits and the maybe excitement and uplifting you get from just being somewhere new. Now me specifically, like I wouldn't call it a staycation if it was a hotel I was going to all the time. Cause how many times does it take for you to go to a hotel for it to no longer be a change of scenery, right? This is a hotel I did stay at once before and I loved it and I came back. But in the future, when I do do staycations here or there, I'll probably switch it up a bit just to have that change in scenery. It's important, it's so important. Anyway, y'all, that's my take on staycations. I don't know if, if any of you have gone on staycations and enjoyed yourself, and if so, let me know how it was. Or maybe some of you still are kind of like, I don't get the point, and hey, you have a right to feel that way. I'm just letting y'all know my view, my take on staycations and why I enjoy them at this point in my life. <laughs> and at the end of the day, I think it's just so important to invest in yourself. So maybe a staycation isn't something that makes you happy. Maybe going to the park makes you happy. Maybe going indoor skydiving makes you happy. Maybe ice skating makes you happy. Whatever makes you happy, you know? I'm somebody that likes to take in beautiful views. So getting a room in a hotel with a beautiful view is worth it to me. Given the first day leading into my first night of staying there, I was on PTO, it was a Monday. So I had free time to kind of do whatever. Today I actually worked, but it was kind of refreshing to actually work from the hotel. Like actually so refreshing to work from the hotel. I almost felt like, you know, like I had a corner office. Cause that's what it felt like, like there was a nice desk and the desk was in front of the huge like wall of windows <laughs> looking out onto downtown Phoenix. So it was literally like a luxurious corner office with an amazing bathroom. <laughs> like, what more can you ask for? Staycations y'all, love on yourself, 
And if a staycation sounds like something that you would enjoy, plan for it and execute. And I promise you, after your staycation, you'll have something that you gained from the experience for sure. For those wondering what all I did on this staycation, mind you, today is February 15th, so it was a Valentine's Day staycation that I took. And I do have a video out that should already be out by now on my Valentine's Day this year. So if you're interested in how I spent my staycation, check that video out, it's already on my page. And that's all I have for y'all today. So I'll see y'all next Wednesday. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below, like, sub, all that jazz, and I'll see y'all later.